We all make mistakes in life, some more severe than others, and sometimes those poor choices cost us our freedom. Producer Roger Hamer takes us to a North Omaha business that believes everyone deserves a second chance and how it can impact more than just the individual. We've always hired people that have had a record, you know, or people who have been formerly incarcerated. Sometimes a second chance is all it takes. Patricia Barron, known as Big Mama, always believed in the power of second chances. She would hire people right out of jail to work at her restaurant. It was uh, something my mother was very passionate about. Uh, they were members of her own family, you know, who needed to be given a second chance, and people gave them those second chances, and it was something my mother wanted to do um, here at the restaurant. So uh, we've been a huge supporter of, of giving folks second chances and hiring the formerly incarcerated. Big Mama passed away a few years ago, but her daughter Gladys Harrison carries on her legacy. Through the years, we've had uh, employees who were formerly incarcerated that went on to Metropolitan Community College, got their associate's degree. Um, some of our employees went on to Bellevue and got bachelor's degrees and have wonderful careers in the uh, culinary field. Roger Jacobson and his family had lunch at Big Mama's. They were unaware of Big Mama's program, but they are familiar with giving second chances and the power they can have to change lives. Well, we didn't know about that until we came up here, but it's a great, great idea. Our church has people that go into the prison and they think it pays off, and I do too. You would be surprised the people that have, you know, a record. It's not just um, the stereotypical person who you believe have a record. There are lots of people walking around here, you know, that you would never think were uh, formerly incarcerated. So, you know, you can't judge a book by a cover. Harrison says over the restaurant's 15 plus years, anywhere from a third to one half of the 300 employees who worked here once sat behind bars. She says second chances benefit the entire community. When you think about giving second chances, you know, it's not just that one person who you gave a job to, but it's their children and their children's children. Because when you give a person a second chance, it changes not just, just their trajectory, but the trajectory of their family. On your side in North Omaha, Roger Hamer, WOWT 6 News. A week from today, Heartland Workforce Solutions will host a seminar for local companies. It's intended to show businesses how they can tap into this traditionally unemployed or underemployed workers. The Nebraska Center for Justice will be presenting results from a recent study on the benefits of hiring people who were incarcerated.